Penobscot County is full of surprises. In the town of Orono, just outside Bangor, is a special place called the Orono Bog, a rare and unique ecosystem that can be explored via a mile-long boardwalk. Leading curious visitors on walks around the bog is Jerry Longcore, a longtime field biologist with the U.S. Forest Service. Well, the Orono Bog was founded many, many years ago because when the glaciers came down, they pushed down the earth and the ice, uh, uh, they, the ocean actually came in, and that's why you find a lot of sediments, actually marine sediments, under the bog. We have an interpretive station. There's seven interpretive stations out there on the boardwalk, and each one kind of tells you what you see and what you could expect to see at this particular place, mm -hmm. uh, habitat-wise and, and wildlife-wise. Mm -hmm. So cool. When it left, it left a big depression, and of course, plants grew. And, and uh, but because uh, there was uh, no oxygen down the bottom of that, the plants didn't decompose. So they built up and built up and built up until you got a lot of peat in there. And now we got what we got. So this, so this brown layer That's is all, all the peat. All the peat. Yeah. Oh, and, okay. And there are places out through this. Uh, this stuff is 22 feet deep. Yeah, th this is what we call red maple. But yeah, common names are. You know, wherever you are, that's whatever the common name they call it there, but it's actually Acer rubrum, meaning red in Latin. So now we're moving into the black spruce tamarack forest type habitat. So things are changing. It's the habitat's changing. Yeah. changing. A lot fewer deciduous trees in here. Mm -hmm. And of course, red squirrels feed on all these cones, so they're, they're common species we'll see in here. I think a lot of people don't really appreciate how depauperate the bog is in nutrients until you get out to that station four and they walk out and they go, wow, this is something. And then you tell them all those little trees out there that are an inch across that are 95 years old, 90, 95 years old. And you say, well, why? Well, because the only nutrients that bog gets because it's a raised bog is, is dust particles and the rainfall and snowfall. That's where the nutrients come from. I've been out indoors all my life, so to speak, and, and as a field biologist from 1976 to 2004, I spent a lot of time out in the main woods here. And it's good to give something back, you know. I really enjoy working with the kids when we have them out here because they're our hope for tomorrow, you know. Thank you for watching. For more exclusive video content, including short films, episodes, and features, be sure to click the subscribe button and look for us on social media at Explore New England Films.